So hey, um, this is going to be a short video on um, doing arcs via data via the data entry available in the draft workbench. Now I don't know how much of a thing this still might be. Uh, I remember way back in the day doing data entry in CAD, but uh, don't know if that exists anymore. But um, I think it's still a valuable thing and you can create some things very much faster, but I just wanna show you the concept in, uh, in the draft workbench. I had hoped to do it with, <laughs> with these arcs cause, and like say, hey, what, what do you think this picture is gonna be and give you a, a spreadsheet of numbers, but um, uh, it was just getting taking too long to get it ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I created something like this, but we'll do it a little differently. And I'll show you how I did it in the draft workbench. So there's a couple of keyboard tips in this too. Um, first of all is uh, is selecting your draft workbench without using your mouse, uh, mouse um, selection. Now this isn't available for all workbenches, but if you press the shift key and a letter, it will go to alphabetically through the list. Now there's something about it which I'm not sure, like it doesn't always seem to take. So see if I can get it to take. So I'm, I'm hitting shift A right now. So now you saw it actually went to arch texture, and then if I hit shift A again, it shifts to the next one, which is animation, and then the next one, which is arch. So, but you'll notice that I did it a couple of times before it actually worked. Now it goes to draft, because I did alt D, uh, shift D. If I do shift P, it'll go to part. But for some reason, you have to like activate this tool first. And I, I think maybe that's what, maybe the shortcut is con contained in that tool. Um, which is a bummer because I it'd be nice to be able to do a tutorial starting out with a uh, hit shift D <laughs> instead of going to draft or whatever um, and as I'm stuck in draft land these days so the next thing I'm gonna do is, is show you how to do uh, arcs and using the draft tool so there won't be mouse for this so you have to watch our key caps here if you need assistance but it's gonna be we're gonna start out with a and then R and that takes us into the arc tool and you, you can know that by this alone. Now you'll see, as soon as I move my mouse, I get data. So that's, that's something you'd probably wanna stay away from if you were doing major data entry. Um, and we're going to just try to do this with, with data, we'll do a couple. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, center X and then enter. I apologize for my bird clock. And so basically we just enter your way through. But we do want to have the continue. So let me let me set a radius of five, and then um, let's do a start angle of forty-five, and we'll do an aperture of ninety. So it's going to start at forty-five degrees, and it's going to go ninety degrees around. So and I'm going to check continue. Now you can you can just hit T for continue, but it also puts the T in it box for some reason. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna hit enter and you'll see my arc has been drawn. So I have an arc drawn there and I'll change the radius so we don't overlap the next one. So you'll notice because I have continue, it goes right back into the arc entry. And I'm gonna do another one at the same center. Oops, I hit tab. I tend to hit tab instead of enter for some reason. And let's do a radius of seven this time. And we'll do the same arc start angle and we'll do the same aperture. And you see, I've got another one. Let me just do one more quick one at a radius of uh, 14, start 45, aperture 90. So you can see how quickly it can go if you have your data. So say you have your data in a spreadsheet, you could enter a lot of arcs very quickly. Um, I do wanna show you one thing, let's see if I can get this to work. Let's call it, do a radius of uh, 25 here, and we'll do a start angle of zero, and we'll do an aperture of 360. Um, so that gives us a circle let me see how that turned out in the tree. Okay, so it didn't. Um, in the at some point, sometimes it actually puts in the word circle here. I think it might do that if you do it with the tool. Let's try it with the tool. So if I go uh, start angle zero and go to oh, so if you, if you do two zeros, it's going to give you the word circle. So let's do that now in the tool. So let's do um, so A R again, and let's put the center at. Uh, 30x, we'll leave it at y, the y and z of zero. We'll give it a radius of 30 and a start angle of zero and an aperture of zero. And that did, that gives us another circle. So even though like, so let's let's find out what the tool, the data entry tool for a circle is. 
So if we go to draft and we look up circle, it's C and then I. So let's try that, C, I. So again, we get the center, same. Let's see if that's any different than the arc one. Let's do a center, zero. Oops, and again, I hit tab, zero, zero, zero. And so it does, it gives us additional options is what it, what it does. Let's try zero, enter zero, zero. Radius is, let's do radius of five and let's see where the person so put our circle there so it, it takes it doesn't give you a um a start and an end and an aperture so that's quite a bit simpler but anyway so i thought that was a neat little thing to learn um help you get to know draft workbench a little bit more um and maybe help speed up some process processes uh, i know that keyboard entry can be faster than uh, mouse entry um, it can also be slower, but I hope you enjoy that and have a great day.